What is going on, man? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy, Fat Cat, of course, bringing you another one, man. You guys can see I got my wife's Ford Explorer Sport back there, man. Let's talk a little bit about that if you guys don't mind. If you guys will let me do that, please be so kind of you. Anyway, man, actually, what this video is about, I, need, I actually need you guys' help, man. I need your help. Please help me. Help me help you. <laughs> so if you guys been watching the channel for a while, man, you guys know, man, I, I've mentioned a couple times that I'm trying to get my wife to get a Durango SRT. I'm not 100% there yet. Actually, I wouldn't even say I'm 50% there yet. There yet. She likes the Ford Explorers, man. Then you don't know, the, the 2020s, I believe, are a little bit different. They're you know a little bit of styling change. They have a uh, different interior and things like that as far as the screen and everything else. But I need you guys to, you know, she reads all the comments, man. So let's, let's try to convince her in the comments, man, to get that Durango. But first of all, let's do a quick walk around of the Ford Explorer. And then, uh, you know, let's talk about it a little bit. And let's, let's talk about what the differences might be. Let's go. All right, guys. So I'm not going to give you like a whole beauty shot and everything else of this car with the B-roll and all that. But. Let us walk around, man. Again, this is the sport. I do love the color of the car. I will say that. It is, it's actually been a really good car, man. I cannot lie about that. It's been a really good car. We haven't had too many issues or problems with it. I think it was only one thing with, like, the gas uh, tank. I think that the Fords are a little notorious on. Um, as far as, uh, I think it was, like, the, uh, I don't know if it was, like, the relay or whatever it is. The valve, that's what it is. The valve didn't close properly. So, like, it used to overflow back onto the car. Um, we, and we took that back in within, like, a month or two. And uh, they fixed it, and we haven't had any problems since. But these are the sport wheels here. They are 16 inch, two, 255 50s, or 20. I'm sorry, did I say 16s? Man, these are 20s. So 255 50 20, right? So you got the sport wheels on there, um, all black trim, as you, guys, as you guys can see. Beautiful color, man. This car is actually, I mean, it's actually really dirty right now because it rained, uh, I think, yesterday. So it rained over the weekend. And so that way, that's why it's all kind of dirty or whatever. But, I mean, when this car is cleaned up, it really is really, 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 really nice, man. You got the sport exhaust back there. Well, not necessarily sport exhaust because you see they're just regular chips back there. But you do have the little oval cutouts, man, so it makes it look a little bit, a little bit more sportier. Yeah, man, like I said, this car does shine, man. It does, does, does shine when it's super, super uh, clean. You know, and I got the, obviously, you know, I, do more my wheels and my tires and everything else when I dress it up really good it does look really good man and of course if you guys you guys always ask me man about those tinted windows well guess what she has her tinted windows as well actually hers are a little bit darker than mine <laughs> to be honest the front is 30 percent all the way down like mine but then her sides are a little bit darker than mine so for those of you guys that are always worried about uh man is it too dark I'm not gonna be able to see look let me tell you something my wife is super blind she cannot see, especially at nighttime. She cannot see to save her life. And I, I don't know, maybe she's just used to it or whatever. I don't know. But she she drives fine, man. Like I said, tinted windows all the way down. She's been doing that since she was, since her, the first car I've ever bought her. Um, a little Mazda Protege 5. And I did tinted the front windshield all the way down 30%, but it was mirror tint. And ever since then, I think she was about 19 years old, 19 or 20. And ever since then, man, she's never looked back. We've done it to every single car and she's never had a problem. So. There you go, man. Let me show you guys on the inside a little bit. So this is the inside. Forgive the, the dirt, you know, the stuff that's in here. Again, oh, let me, hold on. Let me turn on the music real quick. So forgive the, the messiness back here, man. Like I said, she, I wasn't really planning on doing this video today. She got out of work. We brought the kids to practice. And so this is basically, oh, we, we did go real quick to go get some groceries and stuff like that. Not groceries, but small things that make some spaghetti later. Um, so, like I said, this is pretty much, you know, I, I didn't clean it up for you, basically. And look, she still keeps it pretty clean. Um, and this is actually kind of dirty for her right now because she normally keeps this car really, really, really clean. So you normally won't see, like, stuff like that on the carpet, things like that. Like, she would vacuum this car literally when she gets home almost at least three times a week it's crazy i would say that man i don't really have to take care of the interior too much because she does that she doesn't really wash the car outside i do that part but as far as the interior wise she does take care of it man i do have to give her the props for that uh, but again so but that's the reason why like she would probably hate that this stuff is here right now i'm doing a video on it 
Uh, she be like, why did you move that stuff? But hey, man, it is what it is. You guys know, man, I give you guys the real with the real. And I don't sugarcoat anything. And guess what, man? That's what's in the car. It ain't much. <laughs> but anyway, man, but as far as that, man, you guys could see that, you know, I mean, it's a pretty nice spec, man. We got captain's chairs in here, man. So you got the captain's chairs. You got the third row seat back there. I don't know why that thing is down. But you got the third row seat back here, man. Um, it looks really good, man. Like I said, and it look, I mean, this car is almost three years old, man. And everything still looks pretty much brand new in here. Three years old. Think about that. Three years old with three boys that all play sports. Soccer, jiu-jitsu, I mean, you know, uh, basketball, all kind of stuff, man. So they're always super, super, super active. And we've kept our car like this for three years. And look at it, man. It looks, still looks pretty much brand new. So we, we, we take care of our cars, man. It's not just me. My wife does the same thing. Yeah, man. This is the front over here, man. Uh, like I said, again, look, pretty much the front seat. Looks pretty much brand new. Don't look down there. It's kind of dirty down there, but that's more about that. Again, we haven't vacuumed in a couple days. But look at the other, the passenger side, man. The dash. Everything looks pretty much brand new, man. This car has 65,000. I don't know if you guys can see that. 65,388 miles on it. So, and look, and look at the condition it's in, man. In three years. We do drive a lot, man. I will give, I will give you that. We drive a lot. And the reason why we drive a lot is because, man, it's just our kids, man. Like I said, we are always out and about with our kids, man, doing things. Man, my collar's all messed up. Anyway, man, but yeah, man, we're, we're always out and about with the kids, man. Like I said, I, even in my car, like my car right now has almost 13,000 miles, man. Six months. So, like I said, we're always out and about, man, driving them around. That's actually, the, I bought it at the tell well, January. They got out of school in May. So, really made through now um has really had a break quote unquote because i didn't have to really run around from school and back uh, you know they go to school about on the other side of town uh because they go anyway but uh they, they don't go to their normal school that's you know that's that they're zoned for they go to a different school um but yeah man so we got to run them around and everything else um they are bust but if they were to take the bus home from school, they would never make it to any of their practices because the bus ride is, is, is stupid long. But anyway, but other than that, um, so yeah, man, so we, we do drive a lot, man. Like I said, we drive around all over the place, man, all over Florida, really, uh, for practices and, and, and games and everything else, man. So there is a, we do drive a lot. That's the reason why we can never lease a car. The only time I could ever lease a car, man, is if I have multiple cars and I won't just use that one car that I'm leasing or that my wife is using. Um, as a daily driver, but if we got like multiple cars, which I do plan on getting there soon um, But if I do have multiple cars, then I could probably then I could lease because we're not using that one particular car Over and over and over on a daily use right, well, you know either me or my wife, but So with that man, like I said, this car has been good I, I, I can't knock it man for this Ford Explorer has been good and like I said the new ones are coming out But come on man that Dodge Durango SRT it's just something else, man. And my wife is... So, let me tell you exactly what it is with my wife, man. Let me tell you exactly why she doesn't want it. She doesn't mind really the outside or the body or whatever, right? And she knows that you could get the captain's chair because she likes the captain's chairs, right? For the boys and everything else. So, they could be separate if they want to and all that. So, she doesn't mind all that. And she gets it. She's like, okay, cool. I understand all that. But she hates... Hates the center console. Like, the infotainment center. She doesn't like that part of it, man. So she thinks, and granny, I don't <laughs> this isn't really any different, but she thinks that this part of Dodge, all this part right here of Dodge, like even in my car is super plain. So she doesn't like it because she's like, this area right here is plain, the screen and then the buttons and everything else. She just does not like it. And I will tell you this, on top of that, man, my wife is, this is actually probably one of the, you know, she kind of settled for this car because my wife is more of a infinity, um, you know, Audi, BMW, Range Rover, you know, all that good stuff. She, she's more like the luxury type of, you know, luxury line type of a uh, uh, person. Except she doesn't really like Cadillac though for some reason. She doesn't like the Cadillac Escalades. Uh, she doesn't like the Tahoes. Uh, but again, so she likes those, the ones that I named. And uh, like I said, so I think she we kind of just settled for this one because it was kind of the best of the cheap world, I guess if you want to say that. I mean, this car still was about whoa, what was this car fifty thousand dollars it's thicker than 50 50 grand so 
I tell you, man, these cars are not cheap anymore. I, I remember when I first when we first went in, I was like 50. Actually, it was like 52 or 53. I was like 53. I was like 58,000 for a Ford Explorer. I was like, what the? I was like, what happened in the last couple of years, man? That these cars are so expensive now. Cause I was like, I remember Ford Explorers, man, used to be like 30 grand at the most, 35. So I was like, I know you got more technology and everything else, but damn, 50 over 50. Anyway, but we ended up getting this car. We traded the other car in. Uh, she, we had a. 2014 Explorer um, and she traded that one in and then we got this one and then uh, after everything I think we, we ended up financing about 40 so we got about after everything uh, maybe 15,000 no about 12,000 off of sticker price so it wasn't a bad deal at the end of the day I'm just ready to give it up man and like I said my wife and she is kind of ready to give it up as well this particular car but like i said i think she's trying to lean towards another explorer man if we can't get like a range rover or something like that um so i don't know if she'll hold on to that, <laughs> hold on for that but if she's getting rid of this car anytime soon man i think she would probably want to go for another ford explorer so i need you guys to help me man because that dodge srt or dodge or Angle srt is just nasty and i told her i said you're pretty much going to have everything i got in christine in my car but in a suv that you can have they got three row seats and by the way she would tell you all day that she you know she doesn't like to drive fine or whatever man because let me tell you something when she got a car that got a little bit of giddy up she gets on it man she be on it so maybe that's what maybe that's why she don't want because she knows a more powerful engine and everything else and you know you're gonna hear that little bit of rumble and everything else man and she knows that okay if i do if i if I get on this thing, man, like I know I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> you know, driving my kids to soccer practice is gonna be, you know, getting tickets left and right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you what the reason is, but like I said, I think she's leaning more towards a, a, another Ford Explorer. But like I said, help me convince her to get a, a Dodge SRT, a Dodge Durango SRT. Um, we can't get the track, hawk, although she does like the track hawks. I will say that she does like. Well, she's always like Jeeps. She's always like the Cherokee. She likes the Wrangler. She loves Wranglers, man. If I could get her, if I were to get her Wrangler tomorrow, she would love it. But they got no space on the inside, so we can't do that with three boys right now. Um, and, and she loves Cherokees. And the only reason why we never got a Cherokee even before the track car, because she used to love the Overland, right? The Overland, uh, um, a couple years ago, and I think that was at the top of the line model, the Overland. And we could have got one of those, and she was, you know, but we just couldn't get it because we needed, we needed three rows. We got. You know, three boys, man, growing boys, and they just cannot sit all together right there, man. So they in the second row. So we need a third row so they could kind of space out and stretch their legs a little bit. And we're going on a longer trip, or even just to practice, man, whatever. They're all in the car. One can sit in the back or two sit in the back, and then one sit, whatever it is, man. But they can space out and they can, you know, adjust themselves accordingly instead of just being all in, a, in one cooped up second row seat. Um, so that's the reason why we couldn't get the Cherokees. Now, on top of that, though, she loves the track hawk because she's like oh my god it's a cherokee and i told her it's like yeah that's the hellcat motor and that she's like oh you know she loves it but we can't really get one not now because again we still got the boys in, in the house man so maybe once my older kid goes off to college or whatever the case or he gets his own car and doesn't really necessarily have to drive around with us as much maybe things will change man but that's for right now we just can't do it man so for me i think it's going to be between a ford explorer and a, probably another sport but between the Ford Explorer or um, the Dodge Durango SRT. If we get a Durango, it'll be an SRT. At the very least, an RT, but I'm almost certain it'll be an SRT. I'll be like, eh, we need to just need to get the SRT and just call it a day. So, convince her for me, man. Anyway, that's all I got, man. Just wanted to show, give you guys a little bit of a, a little video, man. I'm over here eating my... My plantains, if you guys don't know what this is, plantain strips with the sea salt. And these are, uh, let me see, these are, uh, I think these are uh, vegan. Oh, yeah, look, they're vegan. All right, because they're plantains, right? So, gluten free, vegan, and all that good stuff, man. If you guys don't know what plantains are, man, you guys are missing out. Tell y'all, man, you, gotta, you, gotta, you guys wanna eat some plantains. But yeah, man, on top of that, man, like I said, this car is pretty good, man. I did do a review of this car a long time ago, man, when I first, 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 like, revived this channel. And, uh, you know, you guys could check it out if you want to, if you guys want to, like, in-depth review on it. But this car, look at this, man. It got full uh, uh, 
panoramic sunroof, man. So you got the glass in the back, man. You got the glass in the front. All panoramic all the way around, man. It's pretty cool, man. I like it. It, it is a good car. Again, I don't want to say it's not a good car. It is a good car. I just I just feel like we need to upgrade to uh, something a little bit more cool. Because I'm telling you, man, if you make yourself old, you will be old, man. <laughs> old is... You know up here man so at the end of the day man if you start driving around old if you start you know dressing old if you start whatever i'm not saying that you gotta act you gotta act like you're stuck in when you were a teenager but at the end of the day man just because you're a little bit i guess actually i wouldn't even say we're older because you know the parents that be like at the at, at, at uh uh you know like our at the soccer games and like they're way older not way older but they're older than us so we're we're really the youngest of like the people when we go to like the practices or we go to like whatever the school like their school and all that like the kids our age like they have kids our age we're pretty much like the youngest of of those people but at the end of the day again man you, you don't but you know so at the same time man but you don't want to start acting older or whatever and like oh i gotta drive this you know old ass grandpa grandma car now because you know i'm i'm this age and that age no man you can still have fun and like I said, at the end of the day, man, you get that you get that Dodge Durango SRT. Like I said, you you basically killing two or three birds in one stone, man. Where you can uh, you know drive the kids around, have space for that, space for groceries, obviously. Um, you got the three row seats. You could get the captain's chairs, and on top of that, you can still have a little bit of fun because it's, you know it's going to sound good. It's going to have a little bit of power behind it. I could take that car to car shows as well or meet. You know what I'm saying? We could both roll to meet to whatnot. Have both of them sitting pretty just endless possibilities man but anyway that's it man i don't make this video too long yeah make sure you guys write down in the comments man convince my wife tell her mrs fat cat miss mrs mrs fat cat you need to get yourself a dodge durango srt put that right now man put it right there and after you do that make sure you hit that subscribe button and after you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure you know the notification bell right it got they got all or it got like customized or something like that or whatever make sure you click that button that says all right so you can get all the notifications don't just hit the button you gotta hit the button you gotta make sure it goes all notifications all right and after you hit that notification bell again hit that like button and after you hit that like button that's all you gotta do <laughs> Oh, you know what? After you hit that like button, then make sure you share the video, man. Make sure you guys share along with that, man. So anyway, other than that, like I said, man, I don't want to make the video too long again, like I was saying. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update or, or kind of give you guys a little glimpse of what we got going on right now, man. What, what's our dilemma as a, as a couple and as a family right now as far as our next car for her. So, and the family, pretty much. So anyway, that's it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, man. Got a lot of things coming up, as I said, as you guys seen in my last video. Man, I got pretty much access to a bunch of classic cars right now that I could go ch uh, uh, check out, put on the channel for you guys. Um, man, uh, uh, um, Brochet over there, I believe that was, if I'm not, hopefully I'm not messing that up. Uh, but Brochet, he, uh, man, he has a, uh, um, a scat pack over there with, with nitrous in it. Definitely gonna go check that out. Down there, um, you know, the, uh, Mopar of Sarasota slash Bradenton. So right down the street from me, man. So we're gonna go check those guys out as well. Um, and then don't forget, man. So this weekend, the 27th, I will be in Daytona. Daytona. I will be in Daytona from two o'clock to eight o'clock at the Daytona Motor Speedway. I will be, I, I, my car is actually in the show. So if you guys wanna go to that, but I don't think the show is free though, so. Um, so don't go over there expecting it for it to be free. I think it's like 20 bucks to get in or something because it's a huge show um, But anyway, but that is the 27th from 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock If not man August 11th August 11th is my personal meet that I am putting together along with Savage Speed TV Bad Hemi 300s. We teamed up with Mopar Outlaws So it's gonna be a dope 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 event man. That's August 11th from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock at Margaritaville. If you guys don't know, man, if you guys need the address or whatever, if you want to see the flyer, add me on IG, FatCat8181. And I got the flyer posted all over the place, man. So make sure you guys go check that out. Um, if not, man, Savage Speed TV has it up on his channel as well and his IG, as well as Bad Hemi 300S, man. So make sure you guys go check those guys out. Um, and, 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 you know, first of all, check out their content. Also, you can see the flyers on there too, man. 
So yeah, man, so that's a big event coming up. And then after that, we got August 24th. And it's Mopart Meet at the Ace Cafe. Mopart Meet at the Ace Cafe in Orlando. All right, so that's August 24th. So I got three different things coming up, man. Back to back to back, pretty much. And then there's some more, to there's some more stuff after that, but I'll put it out as we get closer to that, those events. So I'm not, you know, so they're not just being brushed under the rug. All right, so other than that, that's all I got, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, man. I greatly appreciate you guys watching the videos, man. I appreciate all the support that I've been getting. It's been, a, it's been, it's been well, well, well received and much, much, much appreciated, man. Anyway, other than that, as you guys know, man, I am your boy, Fat Cat, and we'll see you guys on the next one.